Good morning, dear experts. This is Martina from Florence What Else, and today we'll talk about Halloween. Halloween is a famous festivity celebrated on October 31st, when people believe that the barriers between the world of the living and that of the spirits were thin enough to allow the dead to return to Earth. For this occasion, I want to tell you three stories related to Halloween and Florence. So stick with me to discover more. The first story is about a ghost. The legend says that right here in Piazza della Repubblica, there was a woman living called Ginny. She fell in love with Antonio, but her father forced her to marry another man. After a few months of marriage, Ginevra started to be so unhappy and so depressed that she ended up being sick. Her family thought that she was dead, so they buried her in her wedding dress in the Duomo Square, right behind the bell tower. Actually, Ginevra wasn't dead. And when she woke up, she ran to the house of her husband and then to her mother, but no one believed that she was really alive. So she decided to go to the house of her first love, Antonio, which when he saw her was very happy to be with her and finally take care of her. The legend says that the first Tuesday of every month, the soul and the spirit of Ginevra floats around the city, especially in this street. The second story is about the devil. Once upon a time, the devil was fooled by a priest. The devil wanted to take the priest's soul, but first granted him one last prayer into the church. The priest, however, took the opportunity to escape, and when the devil noticed, started to snort. He crumbled so strong that he turned into the wind. For this reason, it seems that in Via dello Studio there is always wind blowing, which is still the devil grumbling. The third and last story is about Halloween pumpkins. Not everyone knows that this tradition of carving pumpkins was actually born in Florence. Since the Middle Ages, there was this custom of exposing the heads of people that were condemned to death just as the main squares as a warning for everyone else. Later on, Florentine kids decided to copy this macabre custom by using pumpkins. First, to scare the people that were passing outside their houses. Second, as a symbol of good I hope you like my video, and if you do, subscribe to my channel or leave a comment. See you to the next exploration.